Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. I have been asked a few times, is there any way to play PSP games on your computer? And the answer to that question is yes there is. As you can see on my screen at the moment, I have a website up called ppsspp.org and this is a PSP emulator. It is the best emulator you can get for the PSP. Straight away, as you can see down here, it says play your PSP games in HD. And yes, that is correct. This emulator allows you to play PSP games in full HD resolution. And that is why this PSP emulator is one of the best. And it also has lots of other options. As you can see here, it says enhance your experience, play on a tablet for big screen mobile gaming, customize on screen touch controls or use an external controller or keyboard, save and restore game state anywhere, anytime, crank up the filtering and texture scaling. Continue where you left off by transferring saves from your real PSP. Right, I'm not going to bore you and read too much about this emulator. It is now time to install this emulator onto our Windows machine. To start off with, all you need to do is press download. And you now need to go down to where it says PPSSPP for Windows. You now need to click on download 1.6.3 installer. If it is a different version number, don't worry, that just means it's a newer version. This tutorial will still work. You now need to go save file. Once the download has finished, we can now run the setup file. You now need to go OK. You can now choose where you would like to install the emulator. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. Once you have selected the location, you now need to go next and we need to go install. Once the install has finished, you need to deselect few readme file and we now need to go finish and it will launch the emulator. And there we go, this is what the PSP emulator looks like. This is the main home screen for the emulator. If you want to play your PSP games, you do need to download them onto your computer. If you click on this link here, it will tell you how to do that. Let's just go through a couple of the settings now to see what this emulator has to offer. If you click onto settings, we have a massive list here of settings. As you can see, there are lots of options here for our graphics, which is great because if you don't have a powerful computer, then you can make this emulator work on your machine by adjusting a few of the settings. If you have a really powerful computer, then you can make this emulator look beautiful by enabling HD and lots of other options. If we go across to audio, we have a few more settings here and we have our controls. We have our networking, tools, and we have system. Up the top here, we have a few more options. As you can see, we have our load state, which is where we can load our save files, and we can also save our file. We also have a record option. If we go across, we have our emulation where we can pause, stop, or reset. We have debug and a few more game settings. I believe these settings are actually on the screen here anyway, under graphics. And we have help. And that is pretty much it for this emulator. Like I said, this is a fantastic PSP emulator. And if you do have a really powerful Android device, then this emulator will actually work on your mobile phone as well. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.